Look, I know you don't want to go and help me tear down this tree, but you're going to have to. All right, no questions, you're grounded. I don't think she's going to be much help. Well, good afternoon. I don't know if it's such a good afternoon here, but we had a major storm come through, and of course, it wants to take out that top of the tree, that monster oak, and put it on the ground here. And guess where it lands? Right on my fence. So, not the best situation here. So, I'm gonna try to cut it up before it storms again. Uh, I don't have any help, so I'm guessing I'm going after it alone, but. Um, you can see it just tore my fence up. Let's go over here. Oh, gosh. Look at this. So I'm going to have to re-pull re all these. It might not hurt these bottom ones, which is good. So I'll have to maybe get a come along and pull these tight here. Let's see if I can at least get these back tight. There's a, it's hooked to a tree. This is why people always say don't hook them to trees, but this is why I hook mine always to a tree. Um, because it's hooked to this tree and the other tree fell on it, but it didn't hurt this tree. And I guess you can have, if you had a good thick pull post, it might not knock it down either. But um, one good thing is it's tight on the tree on that side. So I might've just hurt two or three strands on this side. So we're gonna clean up this mess first. And then from there, let's see what our damage is and excess it. Uh -huh. I truly think you spend more time working on a chainsaw than actually using the chainsaw. All right, I'm gonna try to get my chainsaw going just a little bit more. I've got every, I've got about 10 pieces off, 10 of the limbs and branches and trees that were laying over my fence off. So if I can get, there's one, two, three, there's about four or five more pieces of a big tree that I'm gonna have to have a more bigger saws. I got a buddy who's got a bigger saw because these little saws, they're not gonna cut that. But once I can get that off, the weight off it, I can get it off the fence, see the damage. And then I can try to get the rest tomorrow with prettier weather. It's, it looks bright, but it's actually fisting to rain. See, I don't know if you can see that dark cloud right above us. So we're gonna try to get this cleaned up and then see if we can get the chainsaw started back. But uh, not the way you wanna come home on a 
afternoon after work when you really just want a cup of coffee and watch it rain, you're cleaning up a tree, so fun. While I was moving this stuff and throwing the wood over in the woods over there, the wood over in the woods, isn't that funny? <laughs> What's cool is, I don't know if you saw my last bee video, but I made the comment about how it looks like um, bees are already bringing in nectar and pollen, and it kind of blew me away because usually down here, it seems like I'm a little bit later than everybody else. But if you can see, if you can see over there, the edge of those woods right, there's a little yellow spot right there. And some yellow spots all right here. That's goldenrod actually starting to bloom, which is good for fall honey. So I'm not a big goldenrod fan, but it's good to know that things that things are blooming. I think there's some old milkweed and stuff like that over there too. So I'm excited about that. It's everything starting to bloom, and hopefully the the bees are enjoying it. So um, there's some good to come out of this tree. You get to see some stuff blooming and getting ready for bee season. Well, bee season time too. Whew, out of breath. Well, I'm happy to say. There's no tree. Cut it all up. I cut everything off the fence. It did cut and damage three strands of barbed wire about 40, 50 foot. You know, I got it tied up here. This one is strong for about another 10 foot. But then once it gets to the tree, it breaks. And it loses it here. And I have no two strands up here. They busted. So all in all, it could have been worse. I can't complain. I hate to say it, but I need a firewood, so not the way I wanted to get it, but I'm doing. So, if you look behind me, the whole path is clear. Got it all cut. I couldn't cut up the big, big piece with the little chainsaw I've got. I say little, it's like 16 or 18 inch, but. It just uh, could not hold up to this big piece here, but this is the rest of the tree here. I did get managed to get it pushed out of the way. It's still a good about 30, probably about 35, 40 foot of, of log left. with about three or four branches hanging off of. So pretty big tree that fell across. So you can see a good point here. See right there. Bam, right here. The other 50 foot was above it and that's what fell on so but hey it's cleaned up it's not what i wanted to do tonight so i'm gonna try to get some of this debris out of the driveway so it won't pop a tire and i think we will call it a night so i got done with that tree in about two two and a half hours by myself elsa you see didn't didn't help me so no we hope you've had a good time good night thank you for watching i don't know if you liked me clean up a tree but one thing I always said, you know what? Some things you just can't help. And this is one of them. The bad thing is, I'll show you an update on my corn. I think it, I think this monster storm took my corn down, which is not good, frowny face at this point. So I might not have fall corn based on this big storm that just come through. So we'll check it tomorrow. I'm gonna have light to see. And uh, more than anything, God bless and happy on y'all.